Howdy folks, Brother Jim reporting here. This will be a far left dimwit report of the libtards. Hilarious, watch genius of the left Ocasio-Cortez make a complete ASS of herself at committee hearing. It doesn't get any better than this. Democrat thought leader, Representative Ocasio-Cortez, completely embarrassed herself and her party during the House Financial S Service Committee hearing on Tuesday. Oh, and I wanted to show you something. Uh, now... Hold on just a second. There is a report. There it is. Look at this one. The brains behind AOC Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. Look at this. Look at this report. Must see video. Alexandria Ocasio Cortez is a puppet congresswoman controlled by dangerous people. And not only that, but I'm having problems with the browser here. But anyway, uh, you need to see this video. I'm going to put this video down for you to watch. She's merely playing the part of a New York Congresswoman, but that the people controlling her are very dangerous. There was an ad taken out for people who want to play in the Democrat Party. Would you believe that? She's one of the ones. She's an actor, writer, and political commentator. Well, it says, well, actor, writer, and political commentator Christopher Patrick Coles believes he has the answer and claims that Ocasio-Cortez is not only a puppet congresswoman who is merely playing the part of a New York congresswoman, but that the people controlling her are very dangerous. All right. Back to the same one. The cause. She accused Wells Fargo CEO Tim Sloan of financing the caging of children. The stun baking CEO fired back at the freshman socialist. Well, I don't know how to answer that question because we weren't. I unfortunately went downhill from there. This is what passes for intelligent discourse on the left. Tim Sloan is the CEO of Wells Fargo. He appeared before Congress yesterday. He was there to testify about the many customer abuses his company has been caught committing. And there was plenty to be said about that and good. But he also found himself being interrogated from a different direction by fake revolutionary Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. She says his company is somehow to blame for how the Border Patrol operates. Watch. Why was the bank involved in the caging of children and financing the caging of children to begin with? Uh, I, I don't know how to answer the, that question because we weren't. <laughs> in other words, your question is bonkers. She then went on to suggest that the CEO of Wells Fargo should be held responsible for any oil spills that occur since his bank might make loans to the companies that build oil pipelines. <laughs> In fact, her fervor got so out of control that she then suggested that Wells Fargo should pay for damage caused by the Keystone XL pipeline, which Wells Fargo did not finance, and by the way, which does not exist yet. <laughs> Wells Fargo financed the building of this pipeline in an un and in, in an in environmentally unstable way. She can't even uh, read. Why shouldn't the bank be held responsible for financing the cleanup of the of the disasters from these projects? Uh, which pipeline are you referring to? Um, either, you know. So we, we were not involved in the financing of the X, of the XL pipeline. We were one of the oh 17 or 19 banks that was involved in the financing of the Dakota Access Pipeline. Melissa Francis pays attention to politics and financial markets. She co-hosts Outnumbered and After the Bell, and she's a friend of ours. She joins us tonight. Melissa, what do you, what do you make of that? Uh, first of all, proud to be on with you, my friend, tonight. But I, I watch Thank this, you. and this is, so this is the newest game of gotcha. You drag someone up for a beating, and then you beat them about things that may or may not be related to their business at all. So we decided to do an exhaustive fact check of both what she said and also our interpretation of what we thought she was trying to say. I mean, she's talking about the caging of children, and as we looked through it, I mean, he looked befuddled and, and rightly so there was one company that wells fargo was involved with that they provided financing to this company which built one detention center under president obama and they sent us so many photos of it it has no cages and it's much nicer than any school my child is i just have to cut in real quick before i forget 
because my memory is not that good. QAnon said that three senators or yeah, three senators are going to be taken out. And guess who they are? He said Q three Muslim senators, Cortez, Rashida Talab, and Ilhan Omar, who is extremely ill. <laughs> we'll see. Ever attend or summer camp? I mean, from what we saw, it's <laughs> lovely, but there's definitely no children that are separated in any way from their families at this location, which I'm guessing was her point. But they also built the facility under President Obama, and it looked rather nice. So the premise of her question was a gotcha that seemed to have no connection to anything that you said that Wells Fargo has done that, that hasn't been great in the past. This just wasn't one no of them. No connection to and reality. And on the pipeline question, you know, I mean, she she's going down this road. She names a pipeline that doesn't exist. So you give her the benefit of the doubt, and he kind of pivots to one that does exist, that they did help finance, along with a bunch of other banks. And the premise is sort of like if you provided finance to a builder, if then the operator down the line does something bad, you are responsible. That's like saying if I kill someone in my house, you should go put in jail the mortgage broker at the bank that gave me the loan. I mean, it's so many degrees of separation. It, it just seems like there was enough to pick on. Why are, why are you pivoting to your issues and sort of beating this well, guy? So maybe, well, you're right, but you're approaching it as a smart person from a rational perspective. But maybe it's a religion and petroleum is sin, and anybody who has the taint of sin must be punished. Maybe that's the way that she's looking at it. I guess, I mean, I think it's just this shortcut, easy gotcha. I mean, a lot of the different CEOs here in New York have been facing- They're trying to make sense out of it, aren't they? Pay. You hear that? They're, they're actually trying to make some sense out of it. That it's sinful, like, like Tucker said. And anyone who does this is sinful and against their religion. <laughs> At the same time, and she's doing the, you know, I guess, but I, I think it's just the I got you. <laughs> Whatever the case, she's crazy. The, the woman is a crazy, stupid actor. And please make sure you see this video over here. I, I forgot. What? No, not that one. Oh, that's an inter interesting one that I need to show you, but. It's right here. Uh, no, that's not it either. I have so many reports that I plan. Ah, I seem to have lost it now. Yep, I lost. But anyway, I'm going to get it for you and watch that video that I just showed you about how Ocasio. Oops. Ocasio Cortez is definitely an actor. All right. Thank you for listening, and may the Lord bless. Let me be serious with you. I would rather that you donate to my ministry directly. I cannot survive financially to keep this ministry and new service going without your help. And we all know their plans to shut me down again. But many of you would like to receive a gift or product as a token of my appreciation. And I don't blame you. Isn't it about time Uncle Sam started paying you instead of you paying him? It is about time. The federal government pays you your rent check. The government rents out thousands of buildings instead of buying them every year. This is all funded by the current $11.1 billion building fund in our budget. Get your free federal rent check today sign up with the federal millionaire information here down below become a shareholder to receive federal rent checks for life by making a one-time investment as a shareholder an IRS ruling declares this to be totally legal this is no joke no scam and been for many years the longer your name is on the distribution list, the larger your federal rent check grows. As inflation rises along with real estate, the government pays you more every year. Starting out as little as $1,800 a month would be your rent check. Wouldn't that be nice to receive every month a rent check like that? The federal government continues to raise your income as inflation rises. This puts an end to retiring with a fixed income that leaves you going broke as you get older. This will put a major dent in those people who hate their home taxes is going up every year, wouldn't it? And folks, the price for this valuable information will cost you only $39 a year or $79 for a two-year membership. Sign up today.